really think that's gonna make a difference? I do. That all boys aren't the same and that we are willing to change. Well, why don't you shut the f up, pal? All I've been hearing about the past few weeks is how this is our problem. Well, I'm getting pretty sick of it. Everyone else seems to be able to be proud of who they are, but not us. And then we got Uncle Kyle here telling us the girls are right. Butters? This is a war on all of us. You wanna listen to Uncle Kyle? Go ahead. Pretty soon they'll be locking us all up. And don't think you're safe either, Tweet and Craig. The world wants us all to feel shame. Butters, you need to calm down. No! We tried doing it your way, Cal. We did it to get us. Nowhere. Right! It turned us against one of our own, that's what it did! That's true! I'm done feeling guilt. I'm a boy, Dagnabbit. Mark my words. The moment is coming when you all need to decide. Are you with your kind, or are you with Uncle Kyle? I'm in favor of bombing Syria. I've never said that. He's a preposterous liar. Utterly preposterous. But I think if we drew a red line and we said, hey, listen, we, we're going to set a precedent not to use chemical, biological, or nuclear weapons, and, and a dictator has crossed that line, I think using our air force is a significant possibility, knock down their entire fleet probably fairly quickly and efficiently. I've never said that. He's a preposterous liar. Utterly preposterous. So it depends on the facts, etc. So you can leave? So it depends on the facts, etc. So that's what an intelligent person does. Everything he says is over the top, uh, ridiculous, it's lies. Paid by the yeah. You. Okay, anyway, let's move Russians. on. Let's end the freaking pot. I can't. I can't. Okay, see, that's what happened. My reaction as I was listening to that live, and by the way, I was with Crystal when it happened. We started cringing more and more the more Jimmy talked. And understand something, guys. My issue is actually not with the original incident that Jimmy's talking about there. But my issue with the thing we just saw Listen to this. This is what he just said right there. Oh, she dresses inappropriate. Inappropriate? Who the fuck are you to determine what is and isn't appropriate for her? Are you a fundamentalist Christian? I mean, that's like some hardcore Republican thing to say. And if I'm being objective about this, You're even not. though Jimmy's my friend, if somebody spoke about my mom or my sister or my girlfriend like that, it would take every fiber of my being to not want to beat the shit out of them. Wow. Because that was that's humiliating. And he admits that it was a humiliating thing in the segment, but then it doesn't occur to you that maybe bringing this up again and talking about it in the way you're talking about it is, like, gonna humiliate her yet again? Is Puritan sensibility? What the F was that? That is nuts. He's got a problem that I said and it addressed inappropriately? Like, you're gonna punch me? <laughs> what? I was trying to tell the story of this woman who's trying to blackmail me while she's smearing anti-war journalists. And she's blackmailing me because I'm criticizing her for smearing anti-war journalists. And that's why I now have to tell the story. You think I wanted to fucking bring it up? Why, why would you do that, Kyle? That, that's really, uh, wow. And so, there you go. Uh, it's just painful. It's, you broke my heart, Fredo. I don't know why you did that. I know it was you, Fredo. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. Um, now, I wasn't there. I'll never know exactly what happened. I think Jimmy's upset that I'm not crusading in his defense or something, or, or agreeing with him 100% on every aspect of this, policy-wise and personal-wise. And then we got this response from him. So he says... And he's quoting somebody else who said this, but this is the sentiment he agrees with. I think they are talking about the OPCW cover-up and the slanderous conduct of your friends Jenk and Anna in trying to destroy the reputation of Aaron Mate. But you can keep pretending those... Pretending that doesn't matter, I guess. Crystal and I were planning to have Jimmy on Crystal Kyle and Friends one day. We were planning to have Jenk on Crystal Kyle and Friends one day. And then as we watched this, we decided... You know what? We don't want to have either one of them on right now. Because 
then we would be responsible for getting in the middle of this absolute mess. And uh, I realize I haven't been haven't given me a link. They haven't nothing. There's no text reminding me, no nothing. So I, I was supposed to go at 10 a.m. and I five to 10, I texted them both saying, "Hey, I have this on my calendar today. So are you still doing it?" And they ghosted me. So they decided not to have me on the show, and they didn't tell me. They didn't send me an email the day ahead of time, or even the day, or whatever. Nothing. And they didn't respond to my text when I sent it to them. They just ghosted me. And then about two and a half hours later, uh, in the afternoon, so I was supposed to do it at 10 a.m., around 12.30, they sent me a text. And here's the text, okay? And the reason why I bring this up is because Kyle brought it up. So now that's why I'm bringing this up, so I'm going to tell you. So uh, I, here's my text. Are we doing a show today? My calendar says we are. And Kyle says, hey, Jimmy. So again, that's, again, at two and a half, two hours later, two and a half hours later, after they go to me, he says, Hey, Jimmy, we are trying to stay as far away from the war between you and Aaron and TYT as possible. On the policy, we agree much more with you, Russia, Syria, forced to vote, etc. We're disturbed by Anna's attacks on Aaron, but we also didn't like the way you talked about Anna's dress. What? The F and F? Are you kidding me? That's my good friend? Making a false equivalency, validating a, a, a complete, transparently bullshit attack? Yes. And is Anna your executive? Is Anna the executive in this situation? Yes, she's, she's the executive in this situation. Huh. Uh, as friends of you and Jay and Anna, we're pressing pause on having anyone involved on the show. We're sorry, Jimmy. Hope you understand. So they didn't press pause, no, they didn't. So it would they could have just stopped there. Hey, Jimmy, we are trying to stay as far away from the system as possible. They could have just stopped there. They didn't, they had to keep going. And it got insulted. With Jake Uger's nephew instead of me. That's, that is hardly staying out of it. And here's how they covered it. They just stay out of like all the fucking uh, Jimmy Thor drama or whatever the fuck's going on at any given moment like people will always come in and they're like dude what do you think about this i'm like no no yeah i not. feel the same way i feel the same way yeah shut the fuck up like i, I look we're I all would much rather, there. <laughs> yeah I, I would much rather talk about you know um like literally using a pocket pussy than that. <laughs> which i do i talk about a variety of different things. it's just hilarious very painful for me to see him do that he, he knows, I mean, you saw the tweet, the, the text that I sent him after they ghosted me on the show. The text I sent him, like, this is crazy what you're doing. You're doing all the false equivalency. She blackmailed me. He doesn't even mention the blackmail. He doesn't even mention yeah. it. He never mentioned it. He never mentioned it. The middle aged McCarthy, aka the Young Turks, said about me and what they said about you. And to me, there's no distinction. They smeared me. And then when they got called out for that, instead of owning up to it, they then tried to scare you and blackmail you. And what I take issue with is any attempt to downplay that and dismiss that as personal drama, which is not. It's just a continued smear attempt. And um, a refusal to recognize that is, I think, what, what, I, what I think Kyle is missing here. Okay. Sorry. Anything to do with it, man. I don't want anything to do with it. So now you might be saying, okay, well then why are you talking about it now? Well... The reason I'm talking about it now is I was dragged into it because Jimmy accuses TYT of being basically corrupt and being liars. I disagree because he took money from Katzenberg. Did that make him change his opinions? No. Now, again, I want to be clear about something. You can never disagree with TYT. If you dislike the direction of the show, you could dislike it on its own merits. You could dislike it because you disagree with Jenkins Anna. It doesn't have to be because of the money thing and they're, you know, nefarious, twisting their evil mustache behind closed doors like, ha 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 I will now change direction of the show because I got the money. But when it gets personal, especially with people who I know and am friends with, I want absolutely nothing to do with it. I want to be a million miles away from it. I'm done with all of them because I'm an adult. 
and I got no time for this high school type shit, okay? And you might think it's not high school shit, but you're wrong. You're fucking wrong. And uh, so I showed you before it had 7,000 dislikes on it yesterday. This morning, it's, it's down to 5,000 dislikes. So remember when YouTube said they were going to start taking dislikes off stuff? They're doing it. They did it. They're doing it to Kyle's video. Isn't that interesting? I'm not making that up. Last night, it was, I showed you it was 7,000 dislikes, and today it's 5,000. I didn't say that. I'm not, I'm not saying Kyle's doing that. Hey, Kyle's like, that's what YouTube's doing that now, too. Isn't that wild? Get the right impression of what's happening. So I wonder how high it actually is in this one. I wonder if it was 7,000 last night, you know it's got to be way more than that now. So, um, and that's a lot of this one. If you don't like that, you can fuck off. And I'm not just talking to them now, I'm talking to people in the audience who might not agree with that, how I'm approaching this or, or what I'm doing. I don't fucking care. I don't care. I hope I don't get dragged into it again where I have to respond again to some shit. Because I don't want to do it, I don't like to do it, but if I gotta do some shit, I gotta do it. And that's why I'm doing this segment right now, but hopefully this is the last thing I have to say about this. I want nothing to do with it. I want to be a thousand miles away from it, and you should respect that, but if you don't respect that, I don't give a fuck. Told that story, when he did his video, what he did was, he got bad at me, the only person he got angry at in the whole thing, he didn't get angry at Jenk for, for smearing Julian Assange, or Aaron Maté, or his shady business deal, or for calling Jimmy Dore a neo-Nazi, or for saying Aaron Maté worked for the Russians, or Anna Kasparian for tweeting out a doctor video of an award-winning journalist to spare him, or for her doing a phony hashtag Me Too against me to distract. The only person he got mad at in that whole thing, he wanted to punch me in the face. And why? Because the story I just told you, I told on my show about how Anna flashed the newsroom and I made a joke. And he said, how horrible of that would be. Why would I want to humiliate her again? Because she was blackmailing me, and Kyle left that part out of the story, and his own fans are unsubscribing from his show by the thousands because of it. He had to do another video he just dropped today apologizing, trying to explain, and it's worse. So Kyle Kalinske is being revealed right now in this moment. So he did that. He did a totally dishonest, bogus fucking move to try to do a false equivalency because he's on the TYT network, and it's all about money for him, I guess because they're taking dislikes away from his thing. I don't know what Jen Uger is holding over his head, but it's really making Kyle look like a piece of it right now. I'll tell you that. And I have to agree that I found his uh, last video especially very cowardly. Um, just Kyle is just like a shy guy or doesn't like confrontation, but it, it's, it seems remarkably cowardly. And you were revealing the blackmail attempt by Anna Kasparian. Uh, you used the, the term that she was dressing inappropriately. In retrospect, do you think that that was the wrong terminology to use in that response? The only reason I had to talk about that was because she was fucking blackmailing me. And you're gonna you're you're gonna nitpick the words that someone who's being in, in the the most sleaziest thing you could do, the thing you can never defend yourself from. You're gonna do. She's gonna weaponize an incident from seven years ago. That's an obvious transparent bullshit. She's gonna misuse the hashtags, me do thing that makes other women not be fucking believe. And the problem Kyle had was that I said she dressed inappropriately when I had to explain what happened. I'm sorry. I don't fucking apologize for that. And what he did was bullshit. And it should that, that the, but what a bullshit thing. I'm not responding to a fucking sleazy blackmail thing properly. I'm not using the proper words. Is that really the accusation? Yes. That was the accusation. And of course I showed Kyle Kalinske to be a complete full fucking outrage pearl clutcher because he had tweeted at Anna Kasparian before, hey, why don't you masturbate on camera? I bet you'd get more live stream viewers. And Anna Kasparian went back, I bet we'd get 6,000. So they're all fucking pigs. They're all fucking pigs and they're trying to slime, slime me and it's not working. Yeah, as you and mentioned. I didn't fucking talk about it the right way.
I'm getting fucking smeared and in the sleaziest way possible. And I said, punch Jake Hoover in the face for smearing Julian Assange while he's being tortured. You don't want to punch Annika Spirit in the face for tweeting out a fucking doctored video to smear an award-winning anti-war journalist. You don't want to fucking punch Jake Hoover in the face for calling Jimmy Dore a neo-Nazi. You don't want to punch Annika Spirit in the face for doing an obvious blatant misuse of the hashtag Me Too. You don't want to do- no, but Jimmy Dore said inappropriate when he had to defend himself against a fucking sleazy smear. That reveals Kyle for who he is. Has one gear, and that gear is nuclear.